I think if you believe you're in control of your life, all you have to do is pick up any recent edition of the National Geographic talking about the expanding universe to come to the conclusion that very, very little of what we would like to believe we're in control of, we're actually in control of. I think that most of our experience is in the realm of chaos and we devise certain defense mechanisms and certain lifestyles to give us the illusion of being in control and having a handle on things when in fact one doesn't know, for example, if the ceiling fan is going to fall on my head in the next three seconds or I will live to be another 40 years old. So I think that control and spending a lot of time and energy trying to be in control is a gigantic waste of time. Is anybody here surprised by anything today? Anything at all surprised you? I'm yeah. surprised by myself. Okay. I came in very happy and I was talking about my weekend. I wrote Good you morning back. to everybody. <laughs> no, no, but what we were going to exercise, I felt I went through a range of anxiety, then frustration, then anger, and then um, happy again, like calm. This mm -hmm. is the state that I am now. Okay, so you I'm had... I'm surprised that I went through all that in life. Went through all those feelings. In an hour. Okay. Okay. Anybody else surprised by anything? I went through that same state, but not the same way. I came in all tired. And I, and I don't usually get up this early. I just get up at like 11, 12. And it's like, no. So did this group energize you? Yeah. Give you energy? Okay, watch that film. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't shake the foot, then the energy has a chance to stay in your body, and then you can see where the energy takes you. It's not going to take me much of that to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got a little longer. Anybody else surprised by anything? Yes? I was actually, well, thinking to myself how, I'm surprised to myself how I was actually able to work out my anxiety that I had. Um, not really relating, since we were talking about the future, I actually have a very important event that's coming up soon to me, which is my wedding. Mm -hmm. So, it, for a whole year, I was like, oh, killing myself. What if everything goes wrong? I want everything to go perfect. And then until recently, I just said, wait a minute. Everybody's been telling me my past and my congregation, if, if, even if everything goes wrong, you know, yeah. the fact that you're able to, to you know, join a matrimony with a person, it doesn't, of course nothing, I learned to realize that not everything's going to be on time. There might be traffic that day. Mm -hmm. My flowers might not get there on time. Oh, my God. people might not be there on time. But the fact that I I'm get getting to the point is good enough, you know, that so, I don't know what's going to happen. So what would be the best way for you to get through all of this? Just wait until it happens. Which means what? Living in the present. Curiosity. Curiosity. <laughs> you could either worry yourself to death before yeah, the wedding. I did that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> or you could be curious. Say, wonder, this is fascinating. This is the most exciting yeah. day of my life, and I am totally curious what's going to happen. Right? Okay. How about other surprises? Else? When I was walking in, I was very curious. He was saying that you know you're going to come in very interesting, and you're going to learn a lot from the class. So I didn't know what to expect. From what we learned from class, I didn't know what approach you were going to take to it. And now that it's towards the end, I'm actually very happy that you came because you made me realize that I've been trying to change the way I think. Because I would always live in the future. Oh God, what am I going to do the same way? You guys are thinking that's why I was saying you can't focus on it because you know something happened where I experienced September 11th, which changed my whole thought of like of thinking. Like I used to work there. And one day I was like, you know, I thought I had everything planned out and I didn't have a job. I didn't have it, just everything turned upside down. I'm like, you know what, I focus all the time on the future and I'm just, wait, like everything gets put in the past, like I'm just missing out on the present. So I'm oh, trying to learn to focus right now and hearing you say it and hearing from someone who's knowledgeable on the matter and you think, very happy that I feel like I'm going in the right direction by trying to think this great, way. Great, great. Isn't it amazing how much we believe we're in control? And then if you really sit down and spend some time like we are this morning, how little control we have. Yeah. Right? So we can either construct realities about what's going on and believe our own constructed realities, or we can sit with the curiosity of what's happening. What's going on? What's, where are we going to go next? Right? Any more surprises? Anybody?
How about learning? What did you guys learn today? Oh, I'm doing well. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of things did you learn? Yes? I guess the difference between comprehension and apprehension, like the two are so intertwined together, you really, most of the time, don't um, distinguish between, uh, you don't distinguish between the two. It's like one whole thing. Mm -hmm. like, but over here, like today in the morning, you were able to say, okay, this is apprehension, this is comprehension, and be like, okay, sometimes I can differentiate and I can make myself either happy or I can make myself sad. Mm -hmm. and sort of mm -hmm. To understand. Did you all notice today, when I started making some distinctions here, how much you live in your head? Mm -hmm. yes. right. yeah. what, what percentage of the time would you say you live in your head rather than yeah. 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 Right? Mm -hmm. And what what this technique, what this methodology teaches you is to learn how to go back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. What's going on in my head, what's going on in my guts. And to rely on both as information systems. So to, instead of just using your head for giving you information, your guts, and they're doing more and more neurological studies now, where they're learning that people really make decisions based on their emotions, not on their logic. So it's really very interesting that the way we make choices, the way we decide where we're going in the future, what we're doing for ourselves, it comes from our experience of our feelings, not from our experience of the facts. This is really new information, this is cutting edge information. Alright. So anybody disappointed by anything today? Mm. Oh come out the right. I, I, <laughs> yes. I was disappointed in myself because I thought that I would have more of your outlook, like you can't control the future, you know, just relax. And it turns out when I started speaking, I'm like, I'm really hard on myself sometimes and it's almost like I keep myself back from doing things and I so set up the roadblock before I even get to that point and no one else is doing it but me. So, so you did like, have a learning. Yeah, so it's like, what's, what am I doing? And I thought I would be like, hey, calm down, you know, let, let things come as they, as they go, you know, whatever. And I'm not. So mm -hmm. I guess it's like I have this thing with control. Like, if I don't feel I have control of the future, what else do, do I not have control over, you know? So Perfectly everything. But yeah, yeah. Days, now that I just say it, yeah, you know, and yeah. I'm glad you brought it up because it's, you know, it's reassuring to me that, you know, even though you are the one in charge, you're the professional, and you're the one telling us from experience, you, you, don't, you don't have control, let it come to you as it is. But someone in my age group is saying that, so it's like, you know, I'm a little more comforted by that, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. so. Okay, I don't trust anybody over 30. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, anybody else disappointed by anything? How about satisfaction? Anybody satisfied by anything? I'm satisfied by the way you ran. Like it was very smooth and everybody had a chance to say. And that your presence was not like when um Charlie call him Charlie. Um, it's over spot. <laughs> he started saying, Oh, you know, Joel's gonna come in and I'm like, Oh, oh, a shrink. You know, <laughs> like so who's gonna break down today? Am I mind gonna break down? <laughs> and um, you are very your presence is very comforting. Like you, you give out really positive down. vibes. Well, I think. Like I'm very you know. And I guess we all can tell about that. You try to soothe us and make everybody I'm speaking for everybody, is that okay? Like maybe I should no, no, myself. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. Perfect. Beautiful. Yep. I'm speaking for everybody. That's your way of feeling in control right now. <laughs> now, I want you to do something. I want you to go around this room and ask everybody if, in fact, you're speaking for them. Am I speaking for you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Is that okay? It sounds like you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. you agree? I, yeah, I definitely agree. Okay, I want to just, just check it out. Are you I really agree. speaking for everybody? I agree. Like, I was like, I agree too. <laughs> Mike? I also agree, I just don't, maybe I'm not comprehending that. I feel that we have more control over ourselves than, I guess, you think or you think. Or it's just the way I feel. Well, you do control your actions, but you can't control the world. 
He can control you. I guess I just a little different about that. I, I, I think that we have more control over we can have as much control as we want in How about ourselves? In terms of ourselves. Yeah, right. I, I don't think there's too much you can do about traffic today. No, no, no. <laughs> well, but yeah, it's true. You you can you can control your reactions to how you deal with the world, but you can't control what goes on in the world. No. Or anybody else. No. Right? So let's continue with you checking out your mind. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you with me? Are you? I'm sorry, I always forget your name. My name is Erin. Do you agree with me? Mm -hmm. Um, I definitely agree. I think this has definitely been a really soothing experience. I feel really calm and really good about my day, so. Do you agree? I agree with Yana? Yana like that? We quite used speechless, didn't we? I agree with what you say, but I don't feel that there's anybody who can speak for me except myself. Uh -huh. That's like... <laughs> <laughs> I know you mean. <laughs> 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 Samantha? Yeah, Samantha. 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 But like Bianca said, I don't really think that anybody can speak for me. But I guess it's just easier to let somebody else speak for us if you agree with what they're saying. Mm -hmm. So I can't really say that you are speaking for me because you're not using my words, but I agree with what you have to say. Mm -hmm. um, I do agree. Um, I think I almost expected you to say something like that because you tend to take a more leadership role in the class. So I, I knew that you would say, well, you know, they have the class, you know, this. So I kind of like, okay, no, that's cool. Like I kind of say, no, no, no. You, know, you tend to speak more, you know, often than other people. So I kind of knew that you would take like the uh, approach as the representative sort of, so. Becky. Somewhat I agree with you. Mm -hmm. But like Trish and Bianca said, um, you're not inside of me and you don't know how I feel. Mm -hmm. um, so. You know, I don't like, I'm, I'm sorry, no offense, I don't like it when, it when someone says, oh, this is, oh, I'm speaking in part of the class. You're not speaking in part of the class. You're not in someone's mind to say that you're speaking in someone's class. I mean, like, I don't take me the wrong way. I just, you know, you should, I don't think anyone should say that you're not in that person's mind. I think, like, most people are just agreeing with you because they don't want to, they don't, it's just, because whatever, I just to get the hell out of the, you know, the situation. Right? <laughs> but I mean, if you really ask someone, like, personally, like, I'm sure if we go out of class and we ask each other, I don't think everyone's going to really agree with what, what right now. I think it's just that the fact that we just, yeah, we don't want to be the outcast and be like, okay, you know, if I say no, then, you know, everyone's just going to look at me in a weird way. But, like, to say that, like, like for you, I mean, for you to say that, like, I'm speaking as part of the class, I don't think you should say that because you, you're not... I don't know. I feel like my personality, I think you just just say what you feel. Like I'm, I'm straightforward. If I'm not feeling comfortable, I'll tell you I'm not feeling comfortable. If I am, I am. But to say that, like, okay, but you're repeating yourself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. When when you become repetitious, it's because the anxiety gets to be too big. Yeah. Okay. So people win sentence. Am I making you anxious? <laughs> no, you're not making me anxious. <laughs> One sentence. Um, don't, don't speak for me. Here we go. Don't speak for me. Yeah, don't speak. There for me. we go. Okay. <laughs> Let's finish checking it out. Yeah. Um, I agree with you said. I thought it was a really good experience, but I also believe of what our professor says in you that we should always speak, but from the one person's view, from our person's view. I think that's very important. I agree with what you have to say, but personally. This, the class was interesting, but I've been thinking about like what I'm going to do afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a good question. It's a good question. Like, I hold, that, hold that for discussion. Okay, so you finish checking okay. out your... Uh, I agree with what you're saying. I, I probably wouldn't use the exact words, even though like it was a comforting experience, and like I did get positive buzz from it and everything. But you pretty much used my th um, got my thoughts pretty much down packed and everything. So I agree with what you're saying. Uh -huh. I mean, I agree with what you say, but sometimes I think um, you take, I'm not, you're always taking on a role of the leadership, and I think sometimes um, you step over the boundary when you say, I'm talking for everyone else. I think you just need to watch that a little mm -hmm. bit, and just um, just watch that. I mean, I agree with what you say, but just watch when you step over that boundary and say, I'm speaking for that whole class. Uh, we're we're studying. We we really no. want an answer to the question, and we're studying the move into another thing we could be exploring, and we don't have enough time for that. Then can right. I just ask one thing? Sure. If that's the way you feel, Allah, how come this is the first time we've heard it? 
given that I've given you an entire semester to verbalize these kinds of feelings? How come this is the first time we've heard that? Because I'm more comfortable now to say my thoughts. Yeah, took her a semester. <laughs> okay, no problem. I agree with what you had to say, but me personally, I rather speak for myself. Because I just, if it's the way I feel, like no one else can express that but me. But I think most of the time, you take the leadership role, and it's because the class allows you to take that leash. Like, no one ever questions your role. And me, too, because I like to speak for myself, and now that I'm getting the opportunity to, I will tell you that I don't, like, I don't think that you could describe the way I feel, but in class, if I do agree with you, I feel, why repeat myself twice? She already said the way I feel, so why be repetitive? If you have it the way I feel, just I'll let you do it for me, because it's easier sometimes. So, you're saying something very important. The easiest way is not the way that you get to hold on to yourself. You got to even if somebody else is saying exactly what you were saying. If you don't, if you don't let the world know, then you're just waving instead of being in the world. So you're saying something very important, and a number of you are saying, "I don't want somebody speaking for me." But then you got to speak up, just the way you're doing right now, and say, "Yeah, you put it right. You spoke up." Uh, you said pretty much what we're all feeling, and I want to say it for myself. The real, the real lesson right now is I want to say it for myself. But let's just check with these last four people before we, before I, you find me totally irritated. I agree with her. If, if somebody speaks up and everybody feels the same way, I feel that not everybody has to say the same thing more than once. So if everybody's okay with it, I think it's okay that she can speak, I suppose. Feel the same way. Right. Now, and the real point here is, if somebody says, "I think we all feel," mm -hmm. then I think it has to be checked out, mm -hmm. right? The way we're doing right now, does everybody really feel the same thing, or other people will feel something different? How about you? I agree. Like you okay. said, yeah. 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 Well, I, I don't know. I've been noticing something, and I don't know if everybody else been, has been noticing. We use the word, but a lot. A lot. <laughs> a real lot. Does, I, I'm trying to understand. Does that I'm mean that, that we are trying to, yeah, we want to agree, as she was kind of saying it before. Um, but um, You are saying something so important, <laughs> but let's just finish here, and then we'll come uh -huh. to that. Okay. Yeah, I agree with her. I didn't think that she meant like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking for everybody. I thought she meant like, do you guys agree, like in a, another form? I mean, All right. No, you're telling her, her what she thinks. <laughs> yeah. So ask her if that's what she. Yeah, that's thinking. what you meant. Like, do you guys agree? agree? <laughs> yeah. Is that what you meant? Like, do you guys agree or I'm, like, I'm speaking? It's for a, her. it's a way of. And you know, Charlie's always correcting us. Speak for yourself. Speak because we're gonna get into the habit of. There we go. See, we. I get into the habit of saying. Well, we always using the we. I don't know where we get it. I don't know if it comes in grade school or the form, the way. Didn't you say taught. you're the first one in your family to go to college? Yes. Didn't you say that you are basically the, the leader oldest. of your family and the oldest? Yeah. And aren't you taking that? <laughs> but I'm afraid of leadership you? role. I hate it. No. You yeah. Oh, I am. All right. You you like I am. You could have just said <laughs> In church, you're always telling me, me. Yeah, I, I you want to be for president. I'm like, no, 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 I, no, I no. think, I think that being the oldest is a big responsibility, mm -hmm. and it also, at the same time, gives you a lot of power. So I think both things go on. Yeah. Right. And <laughs> you, you just brought it into group and said, this is my new family? Okay, I'm going to take charge. <laughs> right? Now, you're saying something tremendously important. Did you all notice how many buts there are here? Do you know what the but is? Yes, but, yes, but. Mm -hmm. We all do it all the time. Right. Yes, but says, yeah, I agree with you, but i got to keep my difference. Mm -hmm. So one of the things working this way in a group is to start to move in on the similarities. Do you see the way I kept pushing you to find the people you agree with? the people who are similar in what you think, the people who are similar in what you feel, right? And to work on developing the similarities. When you are a couple or when you are a family, 
and you spend time looking at the similarities, you can take stuff much, much deeper. When you always go for the but, the yes but, yes but, you're always going for the difference. Mm -hmm. The separating, the staying apart, the being lonely, the being by yourself, the yes but, yes but. We hear it all the time. You're, you're quite right. It was through the whole session today. That yes but keeps you lonely and isolated. Hey, I agree with you. I'm feeling nice too. I'm worried about what's going to happen after school. Yeah. It's not easy being in this group. This guy's a pain in the ass. <laughs> right? But will you agree? Will you work on what's similar? It always takes you dif deeper. Where you go for the yes but, you're lonely, you're isolated, you're separated, you don't learn more about the world. So that's a real big piece of learning that.